What's going on YouTube? My name is Alex. This is Ask the Cheese Gaming. I'm back with a new Nintendo 64 video game review for you this week. In this week's episode, I'm going to take a look at Automobile Lamborghini. This game was developed and published by Titus Software with a North American release date of November 30th, 1997. Automobile Lamborghini is an arcade style racing game similar in many ways to the Ridge Racer or San Francisco Rush series. There's no sweeping story arc or weapons and power-ups. Just choose the color or type of car that you want to play in and race in arcade mode, Ch championship mode, this is where you unlock cars, single player, or versus the clock and time trial. Now, let me start off by saying this game is absolutely beautiful to look at. The backgrounds and courses are very hyper-detailed. Furthermore, Lamborghini Automobile runs at a smooth 60 frames per second, even in the hectic four-player split screen. I would argue it's actually one of the best looking racing games on the Nintendo 64. And trust me, this console's got a ton of them. Now next, I'd like to touch on the music and sound effects. The music is a nice mix of futuristic techno. It kind of reminds me of XG2 or Extreme G2. The sound effects, on the other hand, well, they just feel okay. The sound of the engine specifically, that gets a little tiresome to constantly hear over and over and over. Kind of wish they had dulled it down a little bit. Now this takes me to what's probably the worst part of the game, which is the controls. First is, there's no way to change the controls from the game's default. So for some people, this might be kind of a turnoff. The other thing that I found out during my time with the game is that the turning in this game is a bit twitchy. There seems to be a slight learning curve in the game, so be aware of that when you're playing. But now we need to answer the quintessential question. Is Automobile Lamborghini worth picking up and playing today? Well, if you're looking for a fun budget arcade style racer, then sure, go ahead and pick this one up. You can probably find it out in the wild for a lick five to eight bucks or if you're a racing game fan then yeah go ahead and check this one out but just go in with low expectations it's not the most greatest or best racing game on the console but it's not horrible either thanks for watching till next time